Alright guys, welcome back to another part of my playthrough. Uh, this is my actual third recording session now. And we're going here into... Uh, I forget what this palace is actually called, but it's the one on top of Death Mountain. And you may notice the uh, picture quality is a little better than last time. Uh, not sure what exactly has gone wrong, but uh, yeah, there seemed to be a lot of brightness in my last video for some reason, and I'm not really sure why that was. I'm not sure what happened exactly, but uh, I wasn't going to re-record again, so I figured just let it stand as it is. So hopefully this will be a lot better. It's been a long time since I've played through this level, so we'll see how well I do here. <laughs> you may notice that uh, I sound like I'm under the weather again, and it's true. I am. I do have a cold again. I was thinking it might have been the, the flu. Hey, switches are pretty helpful. Need to press them down to get to you different places within this level. similar to what we saw in the desert palace. Parts in these bottles. I love how tiles just come back. Cause yeah, somehow that makes sense. What are you doing? 
your ass up the stairs. Dumb shit. Well, these enemies are kind of interesting. Kind of reminds me of something that would be in like pinball or something. They move around. They like push you. <laughs> It's fun knocking them down the holes. Yeah, before this game, I hadn't really played many that had multiple floors in a top-down perspective like this, where you could, like, fall down beneath them. Aww. Ah. You don't want to fall. I remember correctly, these guys six. Well, not that many hits. That's what it take more than that. I think just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna get in just very. I don't wanna die. Alright, I gotta get this switch again. Oh wait, maybe I don't have to. So I just get this one. Down. This way. This way. It's too bad, this will be the last time we get to hear this level, or this music in the level. Like I said, this is one of my favorite themes in the game right here. I think we do need the blue to be up. I can't remember for sure. Though. I remember being stuck this part for a while because I'm like, how do you get to that treasure chest? No matter which switch you hit, you still can't make it. You're gonna have to fall and fall in. You can't jump. There's the compass. Yes, yes, do not forget the moon pearl. You definitely need that. Yeah, you actually can't beat this level without it. But if you do, <laughs> you're not going to get very far coming up. <laughs> is to fall down one of these holes that's right above the treasure chest. I want to say it's this one up here. It's this one. Yep. That's it. That's the trick. Moon Pearl protects the hero from the changing effects of the golden power. Yes, indeed it does. And now we can take on the boss, too. This level is actually very short. If I do this video just by itself, it's only going to be a few minutes. I think we might just go ahead and let it do a bit more than that, maybe. Yep, and right up here is the boss. This fight can be interesting. You can get knocked off very easily. You want to hit him in his tail. Whoa, whoa. No! <laughs> yeah, okay, I was trying to be a 
Which may be a little silly if it's useful, you know. Having my sword out. Guess I could stop doing that crap. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. Got me. Little bugger. Go now to the lost woods to get the master sword. Go get that master sword. But first, let me show you the dark world. I'm like, why isn't he going? Now Link can be here. Whoa, in the dark world. And not a bunny rabbit. You aren't just a normal guy, are you? Hell no. Oh, wow, your shit didn't change. You got the moon pearl, huh? Dope. <laughs> All right. Love that lightning. Of course, I pretty much always love lightning in games. <sighs> Can I just drop down here. Hmm. Oh, look at me. Oh, look at that a fairy. I don't need it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, really? Now I can use a berry. That's alright. I'm gonna head on back. Why do I feel like that's wrong? Well, oops. Or can you not go back this way? Maybe you can. Nah. <laughs> that would figure. I would go the wrong way, wouldn't I? It's alright. It's alright, it's alright. I just forgot. Well, stupid bats. And I know these dark areas never show up well on the film, too. In the video, so I apologize. Get some wasted your time. Maybe I could just edit that part out. Maybe I could do that. Instead of leaving it there. No, there's someplace else you can go. Uh... And there's a screen, maybe. This is the correct way to go.
Oh, okay, we get a lot of food. I've got 999. I think we can get a piece of her here. If I remember correctly. I don't know if that one's always that. <laughs> Fail. So they are random. Do it one more time. Try to get my money back. Mm. All right, I give up. Lost Woods in this game. Really, it's not quite like Lost Woods in the original game or the Link to the Past or Ocarina of Time. No, that's not the Master Sword. Oops. Three symbols of virtue, a master sword, you will then retrieve, keeping the knight's line true. And I love this scene. I'm gonna turn up the sound a little bit. All right. Destiny is now in my hands. And we don't get to hear Lost Woods music anymore. Oh no! Soldiers coming to Sanctuary! Will the princess be alright? Let's go find out. That's not much fun. The Master Sword is so much bigger! Eh, wrong way. Sanctuaries right down here. Hmm. 
this one second too late. Very sad. You're the only hope, Link. Can you save the day? I guess we're gonna find out. We'll cut this part right here. See you back. For part eight. I think it'll be part eight. Yeah, this was part seven, so that makes next part eight. <laughs> See you next time, guys.